Students today are growing up in a visual world. Images are all around them, from television and the cinema to glossy magazines, billboards, and social media. Pictures are also a great way to encourage creativity in our students while personalizing their language learning. Using pictures creatively will also add a personal, visual element to a student's learning, helping them to learn more effectively. There are many ways they can add pictures to what they are learning. For example, for reading texts. Now, most reading texts come with a few images. However, these may not be the images students would have chosen for that particular text. So, after reading a text in class, discuss the images with the students in relation to the text. Then, ask students to bring to class one or two images to accompany the text. They can choose from magazines, draw their own pictures, or use the internet. Have them write the title of the text on a piece of paper. Then, include their pictures. Ask them to write a sentence or two from the text as a caption for the pictures. Briefly, discuss why they have chosen those pictures, giving them an opportunity to personally connect the pictures to the text. Share these pictures with the class. They can provide further work on the topic of the reading. Now, this activity can also be done for listening texts. As students don't have the text to look at, the images may help them remember their listening even better. You can also use pictures for vocabulary. Students can also use their own pictures to personalize the vocabulary they are learning in class. Taking photos of their own house when learning about the house will certainly personalize the language. When learning parts of the body, students can take close-up pictures of their hands, arms, eyes, etc. And these pictures can be put up on a class bulletin board and everyone can try to guess whose arms they are or whose eyes. Students can also use pictures for vocabulary that is not specific. For example, students can be encouraged to be creative when choosing pictures for colors, numbers, adjectives, feelings, likes and dislikes, daily activities, and many more. As students learn more and more vocabulary, they can be encouraged to keep a visual record of their learning, making small cards with a picture each. And also for grammar. As with vocabulary, students can also be creative by using visuals when learning grammatical points. Students can find pictures for some of the sentences in their grammar exercises, especially the ones they find most difficult. Or you can ask students to write three or four more sentences similar to those in the grammar exercise. Then ask them to find pictures that demonstrate the sentence. In this case, students may change their sentences as they are looking for pictures. So it may be a case of finding a picture to match a sentence or writing a sentence for a picture they have found and liked.